loves, how are you guys doing? It's your lovely girl Tino, and today we are going to be talking about Sephora Give Me More Lips favorites lip wardrobe so i did show this in my recent haul i told you guys i was going to be doing a swatch video of everything i love this set because it is a amazing set for lip junkies like me and everyone else in the whole world that loves lips i love lips i'm addicted to lips so i really really think this is a really stupendous deal since you get three full-size products in this and two of them literally pay for the whole box so the box retails for $59 and it's 197 US value it is $70 in Canada and it also is 236 in Canadian value so that is a very big deal and when you look at the back of the box it gives you a listing of all the products that are in here and all the names and shades of each color and the amount of product that comes in each of the colors so this comes in a really nice gold packaging very festive for the holidays and there are your beautiful products right there I'm gonna quickly show you the three full-size items the Ciate liquid lipstick is full-size the Smashbox is full-size and the NARS I also think that the Urban Decay Revolution is full-size so I'm looking at the back right now the Urban Decay brand is 2.8 grams which is almost a full-size lipstick so I would consider this full-size so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my lips and we're going to like bring it in a little bit a little bit close so I'm gonna start swatching each of the color the first lipstick I'm gonna be swatching is from NARS cosmetic as you guys can see this lipstick is definitely a sheer lipstick it does feel like it's a sheer lipstick because it's not real as opaque as the color so i do still like the color i think it's really appropriate for fall the next one is from smashbox it is called magenta matte this is one of their be, Leg be legendary lipsticks i've heard so much awesome stuff about this I actually like the formula of this one it's not patchy it's like a really nice matte that is not too uh, too matte and it's not too shiny so it's just like a semi matte and it feels really nice on the lips next I'm going to be going with the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the street I actually like it. It feels really comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel like sticky. It feels just right. I like the color actually. It will be something that I'll wear on the springtime. And that's Urban Decay in Street. The next one is by Laura Mercier and this is in Milky Way. This definitely is a small size uh, little sample. I love this color because it's like one of those nudes that you can just literally get away with it. It's taupe, it's everything. I love this color. This color is going to make me actually get the full size because I like the color on me. So this is Laura, Laura Mercier's lipstick in Milky Way. The next thing we have is Buxom and this is in Very Blast. It's called their full on lip cream. I'm actually glad that I got this because they have little sets that are out and I want to actually try on one of this to see if I like the set. Just gonna slide this on. It's not as sticky as one of my lip glosses from Stila. The Stila lip gloss, you know those pens thing? That is sticky, but this one is actually comfortable. It feels really moisturizing. Next thing I'm gonna try on is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Super Strawberry. And that's how that color looks like. I kept pressing it on and on and there's no pigment to it so this is like something I would wear to like condition my lips but this is like a dud to me I feel like I could get something in the store that's way cheaper but since this came in a set so that's like the only dot I've seen so far so the next thing we have here is Lancome Lip Lover in Frambosier let's see what this one is okay but I have like little particles of this one seems like i would like it now this one has a little bit more tint to it like i like it 
I'm not a lip gloss fan. Let's let's be clear about this. Like I seriously don't like lip gloss. I prefer having my lips to be met as hell. Because my lips get chapped every time. But every now and then, I think if I make a lip gloss, I will pull this out because it feels so good. It's not as sticky as the Buxom one. It feels so comfortable on the lips. So I think I really really like this color. Next thing we have is a Buxom lip gloss it's a lip polish the other one was a lip cream so this is like maybe uh, the gloss version of the other one I know it's glossy but this color oh it feels so good on the lips and it looks good it's uh, called what is it called again called Sophia yeah that's what it's called it would like go good with this look like this whole look going on here this will look good on it yeah so the next one is from sugar it's sugar it's from fresh cosmetics i think it is their tinted lip balm if i'm wearing my matte lipsticks my liquid lipsticks this is something i would love to have on my lips it feels so comfortable it like revives my lips and keeps them from drying out from the lips. Art Energy Lip Surgeons Skin Intuitive Lip Gloss. So this is one of those like your lips is better kind of lip gloss that enhances what your color is already. So I'm just gonna put this on and see what's going on with this. When you put it on, it goes on clear. Move your lips a little bit, so it kind of gives you like a little tint, like to your lip. This one is Too Faced Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick Melted Peony. So this color is so pretty. Like I would wear this with a brown lip liner, but I'm just doing it for uh, color purposes. I actually like this color a lot. It looks really, really nice on my skin. Now on to the dark colors. This is YSL Perk Tour number one. So this is how the color looks like, and it is. When I say pigmented, this is pigmented. So this is a really nice red. It's a red. I just put it out there and it is so pigmented like seriously I did once white so this is the YSL lipstick I absolutely love this color now we're moving on to this color this is the Kat Von D uh, started kiss lipstick in what's the name in homegirl this color is awesome and these lipsticks are matte so that makes me uh, really happy so this lipstick beautiful color I love the color. I love everything about it. The thing I don't like about it is that it clings on to my dryness on my lips. It's a little bit patchy. I have been hearing a lot of things about this Kat Von D studded kiss lipsticks. Sometimes people say they're not really worth it. Quality varies by color. But I love this color. I mean, I want it to work. Maybe I need to try it with my lips exfoliated. I have no clue. So that is like something I'm a little bit worried about. Next one is going to be a Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Konya. I don't know what to say. Let's give a silence, a moment of silence for this color. And number two, the color does not cling on any of my dryness on my lips. Because my lips are dry, I won't lie. But this color looks really good. So, we're on to the next, last color. It's called, it's the Liquid Velvet in Risqué. I don't know what's so risqué about this, but we'll see in a sec. It's a bright, like a bright orange. Let's see, I like actually the applicator. The last lip color is like the boldest of everything I've seen so far. Like this color is something I would wear a lip liner with. Like I look crazy. I'm gonna take this off before it dries because I can feel it drying right now. But that's how it looks. And yeah, that's the last color. So that concludes this video on the Sephora Favorites Lip Wardrobe. I hope you guys do enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, please don't forget to hit the like button. And more makeup tutorial oriented but i also want to do reviews for you guys so that you guys can see in-depth thoughts on each items that i do use because that can kind of give you guys ideas if something is really worth 
bye and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook all at makeup by tino thank you guys again for your love and support i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye